The mural project started because I had worked with the principal here at Tyrell and as we were discussing some of the challenges she faces in this neighborhood and with her own classes and art uh, funding getting cut back, we had an opportunity with our artists to be able to bring that to Tyrell. Who are we? I think that a really important part of education is art and unfortunately a lot of the schools uh, aren't able to support arts programs. Sometimes it's the first thing to get, to get cut. And so this is really exciting that there's a grassroots project and opportunity for us to lend um, some professional assistance to something. We're painting a, a mural with the help of right. Mervyn's people to represent who we are and so that our kids can come back in about 25 years with their kids and say, the best school in the world, which is Tyrell School, is represented right here and I want you to see it. It's been exciting. We had a, an opportunity at the beginning to either do one big mural as a group effort or giving each square back to the kids and have them completely own a section of the mural and it seems like that's working out the best. All the kids take a lot of pride in owning that own, their own little square of the mural. I'm really interested in making sure the kids have as much involvement as possible so we designed a mural that they could each do their own thing and still have it end up being a, a great project for the school. It's just so much fun to, to see the kids just come out and have fun and do something completely, you know, just without boundaries, you know, just something they wanted to do. It's a great project because, one, we have a technology service that came out and primed the wall. Then we have an arts group here, which is from Creative Services, with five or six artists working with over 100 kids to do the art experience part. And then we have another group of people from Inventory Management to do the color blocking. Well, I think it's fantastic. I mean, the fact that Mervyn has taken uh, initiative to be a partner with Tyrell, the kids seeing adults who are in the working force come out and donate their time was real valuable. I think this is a wonderful opportunity for Mervyn's to donate time back to the community here in Hayward, so I'm really happy about that. It's really nice to get to do projects that seem to make a difference. I know the school is very excited, the principal is very excited about this project. So it's been great working with her. You know, this is teamwork. I mean, you can see. You know, kids working together, kids helping each other, and feeling free to express themselves. I just learn by making up in my mind and draw it as an imagination. It's a win for the school, it's a win for the kids, and it's certainly a win for Mervyn's. We all get to participate in a real feel-good project that really benefits children. I have a wonderful group of parents, and the more they see things like this go up, the more they know that, you know, we're a happy place, and that sounds silly. But it's not silly when you understand that you do anything to get your kids want to come to school. Because the key to their life is education. We all know that. Who are we? Today we're having a cultural information fair. And the reason that we decided that we want to do that is because we have so many different cultures here right in the neighborhood. I love the music, the dancing, and all the different cultures that come together, enjoying themselves at a community. They have a little carnival for the kids to play, the music, the salsa, the dancing, the Indian culture, everything is beautiful. Mervyn's and Kimberly and John for the job well done, the beautiful mural that we have right behind us. Any way that we can find to make contact with our guests and their families, their children, obviously, um, that's who we are as a company, and that's uh, something that we hope to contribute to more of in the future. So we're grateful to Mervyn's. Thank you, Mervyn's. Yeah.